soon afterward, the young son of the king took ill. Said Nebuchadnezzar, Heal my son. If you don't, I will kill you. Ben Sir immediately sat down and wrote an amulet with the holy name, and he inscribed on it the angels in charge of medicine by their names, forms and images, and by their wings, hands and feet. Nebuchadnezzar looked at the amulet. Who are these? The angels who are in charge of medicine, Sanoi, Sansanoi and Samangelov. After God created Adam, who was alone, he said, It is not good for man to be alone. He then created a woman for Adam, from the earth as he had created Adam himself, and called her Lilith. Adam and Lilith immediately began to fight. She said, I will not lie below. And he said, I will not lie beneath you, but only on top, for you are fit only to be in the bottom position, while I am to be the superior one. Lilith responded, We are equal to each other inasmuch as we were both created from the earth. But they would not listen to one another. When Lilith saw this, she pronounced the ineffable name and flew away into the air. Adam stood in prayer before his creator. Sovereign of the universe, he said, the woman you gave me has run away. At once the Holy One, blessed be he, sent these three angels to bring her back. Said the Holy One to Adam, if she agrees to come back, fine. If not, she must permit one hundred of her children to die every day. The angels left God and pursued Lilith, whom they overtook in the midst of the sea, in the mighty waters when the Egyptians were destined to drown. They told her God's word, but she did not wish to return. The angels said, We shall drown you in the sea. Leave me, she said. I was created only to cause sickness to infants. If the infant is male, I have dominion over him for eight days after his birth, and if female, for twenty days. When the angels heard Lilith's words, they insisted she go back. But she swore to them by the name of the living and eternal God, Whenever I see your names or your forms in an amulet, I will have no power over that infant. She also agreed to have one hundred of her children die every day. Accordingly, every day one hundred demons perish. And for the same reason, we write the angels' names on the amulets of the young children. When Lilith sees their names, she remembers their oath and the child recovers.